Mugabe forgot he fired me, and Gagwa reveals former president shocker. Harare, Zimbabwean President Emerson and Gagwa has reportedly claimed that his predecessor Robert Mugabe had forgotten he had fired him the week before a military intervention that culminated on the non-agenarian's ouster last year. According to NewZimbabwe.com, and Gagwa said this during a one-day state visit to Mozambique this week. And Gagwa revealed that in a telephone conversation between him and Mugabe, the non-agenarian inquired about his, and Gagwa's, whereabouts and was told that he was in South Africa following reports that elements within the ruling party were plotting to kill him. Watch the video below as and Gagwa speaks in Mozambique. And Gagwa said that as the two were talking, he realized that Mugabe did not remember firing him a week earlier. This then raised questions about who had been making decisions on behalf of the soon-to-be 94-year-old leader, as his loyalists had often claimed that he was still mentally fit and was making decisions on his own. And Gagwa's remarks came after his spokesperson George Tramba recently claimed that the veteran leader tried to reinstate his ex-deputy in his previous post. Tramba revealed that Mugabe desperately tried to reappoint his former deputy at the height of massive street protests against him. Tramba was involved in the negotiations that eventually led to Mugabe stepping aside. In his interview about the upheaval that shook the country at the end of last year, Tramba also described how Zimbabwe and border guards attempted to shoot and gag as he sought to flee, fearing for his life. And Gagwa recounted a scuffle at the Mozambican border where officials attempted to shoot him, but were disarmed by one of his twin sons, reported Zimbabwe's Daily News. And Gagwa has previously said that he feared an attempt would be made on his life after his personal protection officers were withdrawn following his sacking. He subsequently made it to an airstrip where an acquaintance sent a private plane which carried him to South Africa from where he negotiated with Mugabe. Yeah.